In Photoshop CS6, I would like to make a globe made of glass with an image inside. In this example, I'm just going to put one image inside, which is this horse. So let's unlock the layer first, double click, click OK, and duplicate the layer with Ctrl and J. Hide the background layer, that's a backup if something should go wrong. First thing you need to do is go up to Filter, Adaptive Wide Angle, and it brings up a window. There's some various options here. We'll go on to perspective and then we want to start to create this globe. So the first thing we'll do is we'll change this scale slider and put it down to 80. That gives a globe room to fit inside. Focal length we're going to reduce down to around 30. Give it time to process. There we go. And then crop factor we'll leave at 0 0.1. And as you can see we have a fairly decent looking globe so click OK. I'm not completely happy with the glow because the bottom has some cornered edges so we'll adjust that now. So what I'll do is I'll draw some rulers at the top and the left of the glow. Select the elliptical marquee tool or press M and then we'll go from the corner and pull the ellipse down to the bottom. From practice I can see that I need to move the ellipse slightly to the left of this intersection. So hold shift and pull it down. Once you get under the feet of the horse, let go. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm going to copy selected using copy merged. So it's copied what's within that ellipse. I want to create a new layer. Paste that on the layer now using control and V. Hide that layer. So now we've got a nice cleaner circle shape. The next thing I want to do is create a brand new layer for the background. So click on adjustment layer at the bottom and then select gradient. I've got a gradient I made earlier which is green, black and white. I'll make a few adjustments to the gradient. So once you're happy with that, then we'll click OK and OK again. I'm going to hide the rulers now. Just drag them away. Put the gradient fill layer beneath the globe layer. OK, so to make this globe look a little bit more like a globe, we're going to double click on it. Add an outer glow and leave the outer glow default settings. I'm happy with those. Also, I want to add a drop shadow, so angle coming from the top left, the blend mode being multiply. So just play around with the settings till you get something that looks quite realistic and you're happy with. So the settings are 65, 6 and 24. This contour here has that glassy sort of look to it, so I'll keep this one. I've used the third contour with a dip. You could add a little bit of noise, make it a little bit grainy, a bit more realistic. Put it on 3. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Click OK. Then one final step, just to add a bit of realism to the globe. Click on your paintbrush, set it to 65 pixels and 0% hardness. I'll use this first brush. I'm going to create a new layer. Then I'm going to put one dot right there where the light is coming. 